When it comes to programming your own workouts, there are multiple considerations you must take into account in order to intelligently piece together a solid routine. Now, obviously your goal should be the number one consideration given the fact that all variables in the decision making process flow down from that. But once you figure out that and the movements inside of the workout that you're going to help accomplish your goals with, your rep range and rate of perceived exertion or your intensity levels are of chief concern. Speaking in traditional generalizations, if you want strength, you go with a high rate of perceived exertion and stay within the one to five rep range. If you want to build muscle, you're in a slightly lower rate of perceived exertion and stay in an eight to as many as 15 rep range. And if you want to just build insane amounts of muscular endurance, then go ham on some reps and do 15 reps or more per exercise per set. But I believe there's actually a sweet spot for guys in their 40s and beyond that allows for them to really have it all in both the looks and the performance department. In my personal experience, you can achieve strength, explosiveness, size, stamina, and improve physical conditioning all at the same time by piecing together a balance of different movements in a low volume, high intensity circuit format. In the rep range, I like to use for each movement within that circuit, kind of a sweet spot that hits on all cylinders, if you will, is that four to eight rep range. It's heavy enough to force strength and increase power output adaptations when moving the weights explosively. By the time you get to the second or third movement within the circuit, it provides enough cumulative time under tension to initiate a growth response. And by the very end of the circuit, when your muscles are pumping and your heart rate's jumping, you'll experience that metabolism spiking afterburn effect that helps you metabolize fat for use as fuel and ultimately lean up. So moving forward, if you're looking for a jack of all trades, Swiss army knife like workout that does it all, pick a weight that makes you work, string together a balance of multi-joint exercises and stay within that four to eight rep per exercise range. This will help give you what you're looking for in terms of the gains you're looking to achieve and do so without beating up your joints. An especially important consideration when you're 40 or older and have to factor in the longevity of your body and how it operates under stress. Now, to help give you a better idea of what this looks like in motion, here's a killer upper body kettlebell push-pull workout that perfectly exemplifies this exact approach. Enjoy.
Hey guys, thanks for checking out today's video. If you enjoyed it and want more of the same, then do me a solid by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the future videos I hook you up with here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you're looking for a more in-depth view of exactly how I program for all of my clients who are short on time yet hungry for some serious gains in both the looks and the performance department, then start by grabbing your free copy of the Kettlebell Cardio Blueprint that I've put together for you by clicking on either the book image that you see right over there to the right or the pin link at the top of the comment section down below. This free guide has a week's worth of my sub 10 minute home workouts, my top 10 rules for losing fat without losing size or strength, and my plug and chug workout builder to help you design fast and effective kettlebell routines of your own at home. So to grab it for free, just click over there or down there and I'll take you immediately to the download page, which gives you instant access to this killer free gift. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler, out.